Hi everybody. I'm coming to you in the midst of the coronavirus from Houston, Texas. And um, I just wanted to share a little something with you that I think is really profound and could help you through this difficulty. If you notice, you're probably feeling a little tightness about this anxiousness with the coronavirus and um, maybe even a little depressed. And uh, this is one of the practices that I, I have done. It, I've done it so often that it has become um, a natural thing for me. Um, and that is uh, to give gratitude and to give thanks. Now, I know that just sounds like something you can say or do or, okay, I'm, I'm really thankful for, but it can really be an exciting adventure if you take a day or take some time during the day and say, uh, this is how it might start for me. And it sounds really silly, but it, it kind of is fun. Um, I always start by thanking God for my breath or, and, and it doesn't have to be God, you could just be thankful. I am thankful for my breath. Um, a lot of people don't realize how important breath is. And if you've ever had pneumonia, which I did a few years back, and I struggled for a breath, and it took me a really long time to climb my way out of that pneumonia, and how every breath was a challenge to me. And so in doing that, I learned that if you thank God for your breath, or you are just thankful for your breath, you are breathe 17 to 20 times a minute, which means you have 30,000 times you were grateful throughout the day, um, which is cool. But beyond just breath and your physical capabilities, whatever they may be, and even with your limitations, um, sometimes what I will do is I will start out by saying, I'll just look at something, like I have a table on my, on my deck over there, and I'll go, I'm really thankful for this table. Now this table is rusty and it's been around for a really long time, but I love this little table because I get to sit at it and um, I have an Airbnb in my place. No one's there now and it's closed down, but when Airbnb guests are here, they come out here in the garden and they sit at this table. And then I go back to think about when I was received this table. It was a gift from two friends that now live in Dallas and have moved away and how excited I was. And I tap into that excitement I'm talking about maybe 20 years ago that they gave me this table. How excited I was when they gave me this table and they presented it to me and brought it in and I was just so thrilled. And it makes me even more thankful for the table. <laughs> and then I can even move to like the orange pillows that are in the table chairs. And I go, I remember when I bought these pillows. And when we go and we buy something, we buy something with the intent for some reason and I think, I bought these pillows because they were orange and I love orange and purple in my garden and it's really hard to find orange and purple stuff and I bought these because they were orange and I love these pillows and I'm so glad that I bought these pillows because now I have something to rest my back on when I'm outside at my beautiful table that these friends gave me so many years ago and you can see how this changes the way you feel inside and it, it's kind of fun because I have a house full of stuff I have a yard full of stuff that over the time that I've had it, I forget. I forget how thankful and appreciative I am. These blue bonnets, which a friend gave me, this is the flower of Texas in this wildflower section in my yard. I wanted for so long and slowly but surely, I got it. I have these blue bonnets, so I'll just walk through and I see these wildflowers and I'm just so thankful that I have this beauty and I can come out and every year this is gonna happen like a present, like a gift that's just gonna go boom, here it is. So I know it sounds really crazy and you may think I'm nuts, but um, try it. Try it for just you know a minute a day or five minutes a day. Walk around your house, touch something. Think about where it came from. Think about how thankful you were when you had it and how thankful you are now. And then also do this with your family and friends. Think about them. Think about important things that you've had and experiences you've had with them and how that felt back then and how thankful for, you, for them that you are. And you might even decide to call them up and say, thank you. Thank you, I'm so thankful for you. I, I'm, I remember when we did this, this, and this, or you did this and this for me. Thank you so much. I just want to take this time to say thanks. So in this time of craziness, just take a moment or two out and try to be thankful and grateful. And it changes. Science has proven it will change your brain and how your brain functions, and it'll also change your body. So, I mean, what have you got to lose? Um, stop thinking about this coronavirus, turn those things off, and just walk around your house and your yard 
and give some gratitude. And I'm really thankful that I get to do this and I hope it makes a difference for just one person. Anyway, be safe, have fun, and take time for the flowers, guys. Bye-bye.